Hello, welcome back my dear yogis or if you are new to my channel, my name is Petra. Welcome everyone. So today I have 25 minute session to stretch your whole body. You can do this session either in the morning to start your day off with good stretches or any time during the day you need to recharge, you need to take some time for yourself or even in the evening. So let's begin seated with your legs crossed. So take a moment sitting nice and tall, relax your shoulders down from your ears and turn your palms facing up. You can take a mudra, your thumb and index finger touching. Relax your shoulders down from your ears. Then you can slowly start tuning inside your body, your mind, allowing your mind to slow down by focusing on your breath. So right away, start feeling, noticing all the sensations of your breath. Notice how your belly is rising as you breathe in, your chest expanding, and as you breathe out, your belly is falling back in and chest contracting. So let's take a few more rounds of nice and deep inhales and exhales. Relaxing your whole body. Once you are ready, slowly opening your eyes, make your way to tabletop position, all fours. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Let's take an inhale, finding your cow. And as you exhale, cat, then press your hips back into child's pose. Slowly as you breathe in, lift back up open your chest and as you exhale rounding through the spine and press it back child's pose inhale release your belly open through the heart the legs are rounding through the spine and sending your hips back inhale back to cow dropping your belly opening your chest and as you exhale again, rounding through the spine, shifting your hips back towards your heels. And this one more time, inhale, finding your cow, send your gaze forward, open your chest. Exhale, cat, and all the way back again into child's pose. And this time you will stay in a child's pose for about five long breaths. So you can choose your gaze, either your knees wide open, big toes to touch, or your knees hip width apart or closer together. Whatever feels most comfortable for your body today. You can have your arms extended out in front of you, lengthening through the spine, or even feel free to relax your arms by your sides. So whatever feels good for your shoulders. Nice, once you are ready, come back to tabletop position. Our next pose, extended puppy pose. So keeping your hips over your knees, walk your hands out in front of you, releasing your forehead on the mat, or if you'd like, can lift your gaze so your chin is on the mat so you choose whatever feels good for your neck and this is nice and big stretch for your shoulder so let's take a moment here to soften your neck muscles your shoulders allowing your chest to melt down towards the floor God, you can slowly release, walk your hands back under your shoulders. Coming back to tabletop. Take an inhale, open, twist to the right. Extend your right arm up. And as you exhale, thread in needle pose. So threading your right arm underneath your left, release your shoulder and your ear on the mat. 
The left arm can be extended up overhead of your feet to take a half bind, wrapping your arm around your lower back, doing that left shoulder down and away from your ear. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. You can release if you're holding your bind, bring your left hand back on the mat, pressing to your open twist one more time as you breathe in, turn your torso to the right, and as you breathe out, release. Switching sides, inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, thread the needle pose on this side. So relaxing your face, unclenching the jaw, extend your right arm out in front of you, Feel free again if you'd like to take a half bind, drawing that right shoulder down and together your back. And again, a couple breaths here. So feeling good stretch here through your shoulders. Once you're ready, let's release, plant your right hand back on the mat, press into your hand, inhale, open, twist to the left, exhale, release, nice. Let's extend your right leg out to the side, gate leg pose, and feel free, you can either keep your right foot flat on the mat, so your toes are pointing straight, or you can externally rotate your right leg, so your toes and knee are pointing up, whatever feels better for your ankle. Now take an inhale and as you exhale, send your hips back towards your left heel. Inhale to rise up, shift your weight forward. Exhale, press it back. Inhale to lift. Exhale, press back. And you can stay in half lift, so we will hold this pose. So big stretch through your right inner thigh, your psoas, your glute, and try to lengthen your spine. So reaching through your fingertips forward, forehead on the mat, or feel free to just hover your head here. And once you're ready, you can release, lift your hips, and extend your right leg behind, tuck your toes under for a nice calf stretch. So gently pushing, gently pressing your heel back and down towards the floor. Let's release. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, curl, pull your knee in and up towards your chest. Inhale to lift. Exhale, squeezing your knee in and up. Inhale, lift your leg, open your chest, exhale, curl, nice. And then from here, low line, so step your right foot between your hands. Inhale to open your chest, look forward, and place your hands on your knee or on your thigh. Releasing your hips down and forward, lengthen your spine, so draw your tailbone down and slightly pull your navel in and up towards the spine. When you're ready, circle your arms up towards the sky, take a big inhale here, exhale to open twist, left arm reaches forward, right arm back. Actively reach both directions. Stay in your twist, just plant your left hand next to your front foot and extend your right arm up toward the ceiling. Feel free to keep your left knee on the mat or you can straighten your back leg. So you can lift your back knee, staying in your open twist. One more breath in. And as you exhale, release low lunge. Let's step your right foot back, plank pose. Shoulder over your wrists. And then slowly as you exhale, lower yourself onto your belly. Preparing for baby cobra. So inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, soften and release. Tuck your toes under, inhale to plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feel free to walk it out if you'd like, bending one knee at a time, allowing your heels to sink towards your yoga mat. And make sure you're pressing through the knuckles of your fingers, saving your wrists. Finding stillness when you're ready. 
and then rolling forward into plank and then back double facing dog so pushing your heels through your heels back and down again rolling forward inhale to plank exhale this time down dog squat so bend your knees straighten your arms long spine here and send your hips back straighten those legs all the way back to down dog and you can release coming to tabletop position all fours and switching sides so the same sequence on the left so extend your left leg out to the side gate leg pose so make sure you have your left leg in line with your hip walk your hands out in front of you inhale here exhale send your hips back Inhale to lift, shift forward, exhale, send those hips back. And then you slowly lift as you breathe in, exhale, press it back. And if you'd like, this time you can hold the pose so you can stay in this stretch for about three breaths. Nice. Once you're ready, start lifting your hips, walk your hands back under your shoulders, extend your left leg behind, tuck your toes under and press through your heel back. Getting nice calf stretch, hamstring stretch, also good for your ankles, Achilles. Good. Once you're ready, let's release and lift your left leg at your hip level. Take an inhale, lift your left leg a little bit higher, exhale, curl. Inhale, lift, open your chest, exhale, round through the spine, releasing your head. One more time, breathing in to lift your back leg, breathing out to squeeze that knee in and up, and stepping your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Open your chest, draw your shoulder blades down together, your back, your gaze forward. And once you're ready, lift your torso, place your hands on your thigh. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, releasing your hips down and forward. Big stretch here. One more breath in. Exhale to your open twist. So you're actively reaching both directions, twisting your torso to the left. And you can release right hand on the mat, left arm extending up towards the ceiling, keeping your right knee on the mat, or you can straighten your right leg. Well done, and you can release back to low lunge, planting both hands and step back, plank pose. Inhale, shift your weight forward into your toes. Exhale, chaturanga, bend your elbows halfway down. Inhale, upper facing dog, opening your chest. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Nice. So settle into your down dog, and we will add on down dog twist. So reaching your right hand for your left leg, turning your torso gently open to the left. Return to center and switching sides. Left arm reaches for your right leg. Nice, back to center. Start walking your feet towards your hands into Galant Pos Malasana. So turning your toes out, your heels in, you can add prayer hands, gently pressing your elbows into your thighs to open through your hips. Maybe gently rocking side to side. And once you're ready, slowly start straightening your legs so you can toe heel your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, ragdoll pose. So you can relax your head here. You can shake your head, little yes, little no. And then bring your hands to your hips, keeping your knees bent. Bring yourself up to standing. Mountain pose, so standing nice and tall, turning your palms forward, opening your chest. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward, fall to Tanasana. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Nice, you can release your knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhaling to your cobra. 
exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Draw your shoulder blades down, together your back. Nice inhale, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up high. And as you exhale, draw your knee towards your forehead. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, right knee towards your forehead again. Lift as you breathe in. Exhale, finding pigeon pose. So bringing your right knee towards your right wrist. Take a moment to square and level your hips. Lengthen your spine first, so staying on your fingertips or on your hands. And when you're ready, slowly start folding your torso over your right thigh. Maybe folding your hands under your forehead as a pillow, allowing your shoulders, your neck to relax. Reconnect with your breath here. And just really allow those hips to relax and soften, letting go of any tension you may be holding in your right psoas, in your glute. Just try to let it go. Take your time moving out of this pose, coming onto your hands first, and then roll onto your right hip, so you're turning sideways. Let me turn your way. Nice. So keeping your left leg open out to the side, right knee bend for ladder stretch. So extend your right arm up towards the ceiling and then fold your torso over to the left. And let's release. Now let's square your chest and your shoulders towards your extended leg. So turning your chest towards your left leg. Take an inhale, reaching your arms up. And as you exhale, seat it forward, fall. So stretching the back of your left leg. Feel free to bend your left knee as much as you would like. Keeping your left foot flexed. So keeping your left leg active. Beautiful, you can release, rising your torso back up. Let's extend your legs out in front of you, shake them out, and Baddha Konasana, butterfly legs pose. So the soles of your feet together, drop your knees out to the sides, and just allow your torso fold forward and down. You can release your head if it's just okay for your neck. Again, nice stretch for your hips. Once you're ready, let's release. Bring your knees together, cross your ankles, and lift your hips, plant your hands out in front of you so you can step back to plank pose. And again, flowing Chaturanga Dandasana, dropping your knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale for your baby cobra. Exhale, finding downward facing dog again. Take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. Walk it out if you'd like. Gently pressing your chest towards your thighs. Nice, let's even it out. Take an inhale to lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, pull that knee in and up towards your chest or your forehead. You can drop your head down. Let's repeat. Inhale to lift. Exhale, curl. One more time, lift your left leg up, and as you exhale, pigeon pose on this side. So take your time setting your left foot down, flexing your left foot, so supporting your knee, extending your right leg long behind, so your right toes are straight. Lengthening your spine first, being on your fingertips, and then slowly allowing your torso to fold over your left thigh. Bring your awareness to nice and long breaths here, allowing your body to settle into this pose. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Let's take a one more cycle of breath in your pigeon pose. Inhale. Let it go. Exhale. Take your time slowly moving out. Lift yourself back onto your hands. Nice. And let's roll onto your left hip. Extend your right leg open out to the side. Keep your left knee bent. Ladder stretch. Left arm reaches up. And over to the right. So gently opening your chest up towards the ceiling. So make sure you're not rounding through your left shoulder. God, you can release. Now let's square your chest, your hips towards your extended leg. So first sitting nice and tall, grounding through your sit bones. Inhale, circling your arms up. And as you exhale, seated forward fold. And again, feel free to bend your right knee. Try to keep a nice long spine. So being mindful of your lower back. Rising back up. And again, feel free to extend both legs out in front of you. Shake your legs out and make your way sitting on your heels for hero pose. So this is nice and big stretch for your legs, your knees, your ankles. So if this feels too intense, feel free to slide the yoga block or pillow under your hips. So your feet are next to your hips so close to your body sitting nice and tall relax your shoulders down from your ears and you can rest your hands on your thighs take an inhale and as you exhale slowly start drawing circles with your neck so take it slow releasing any tension from your neck First, doing circles one direction, and once you are ready, you can reverse, circling the other way. Feel free to close your eyes, moving slowly, gentle, soft movement here. And you can release, bring your gaze back forward. Clasp your hands behind your lower back, start opening your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades together, maybe drawing those knuckles further away from your body, feel free to lift your arms if it feels okay for your shoulders. Nice. Let's release your bind. If you'd like to get a deeper stretch, you can plant your hands behind your body. So you can walk your hands away. You can be on your forearms. Maybe some of you will be even able to release your whole back on the floor. Just be careful. This is pretty intense stretch here. Beautiful. Once you're ready, let's release. Bring your torso back up. Extend your legs back out in front of you, shaking your legs out and slowly lower yourself onto your back. Bend both knees, hold your knees, start squeezing your knees in towards your body. Nice. Finding happy baby when you are ready, holding the outside edges of your feet, keeping your feet flexed and your shins perpendicular to the floor. Feel free to rock side to side. Nice. You can release. Bend both knees back at your belly for a spinal twist. So open your arms into your T-shape. Let's take an inhale here and as you exhale, releasing your knees to the right. Let's flow with your breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release your knees to the left. And let's repeat a few more times, just releasing your knees side to side. Try to let go of any tensions from your lower back, from your whole spine, softening, relax your shoulders, allowing your arms to feel heavy. And once you're ready, feel free to hold your spinal twist, so releasing your knees to the right. 
So pausing here for a moment and you can keep your left arm extended out to the side or you can stretch your arm overhead so your tricep is in line with your ear. So getting also nice side body stretch here. Once you're ready to release, bring your knees back up, level your hips, take an inhale, and as you exhale, allow your knees, your thighs to fall over to the left. Stack your hips, gently scooping your hips more over to the right, turning your chest open up towards the ceiling. And again, your right arm can be extended out to the side, or you can extend your arm up towards the upper corner of your yoga mat. Let's take one more cycle of breath here and let's bring your knees back up. Level your hips, hold your knees, pull your knees in again towards your belly, rocking side to side. Nice and let's rock and roll. So hold the back of your legs, rocking forward, so rounding through the spine and rocking back, massaging your spine. And again, rock forward and all the way back. And this time we'll rock forward to a seat, cross your legs. So we can enter our practice together with three more breaths. Inhale, circle your arms up, stretching side body, reach up high. And open mouth, exhale, let it go, releasing your arms down. Take a nice and big inhale, circle those arms up. And full and big exhale out. Beautiful. One more time. Let's take a big breath in. Reach up. And exhale, release. Well done. Let's bring your hands at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Bowing your head towards your heart. Moment to express gratitude for yourself, for your body, for finding time for your yoga practice, for your well being. And I thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you feel stretched and you will have a great rest of the day. See you next time. Namaste.